In this video, we're going to take a look at effects chains and multi-instruments in Studio One 3.0. Extended effects chains in Studio One 3.0 is the continuation and evolution of effects chains. An extended effects chain can be any combination of serial or parallel effects. This is a really powerful feature that allows for plugins to be chained and combined in a much more flexible and creative way. Each console channel now has a new edit button accessed in the track inspector by clicking the channel editor button here and the routing button which shows us the routing view of effects chains. To demonstrate, let's insert an instance of red light distortion on a stereo drum track. Opening the channel editor and then the routing view shows us the layout of our current track inserts. Along the top of the window we have the option to add insert and drag splitter. Hovering over the drag splitter reveals a hand icon which we can drag either before or after red light distortion. To demonstrate how powerful this feature is, let's drag the splitter before red light. This now expands our routing to a left and right dual signal path. Let's add a rotor plugin to the right signal path by dragging it over the right line. We can also add inserts directly from the inserts tab in the window next to the splitter tab. Clicking on splitter 1 shows us our available options on the left. We have the option to do up to five splits by clicking and dragging up over the number field or by clicking and entering a value. To keep it simple for demonstration purposes, we will stay at two splits. Below we have a mute option checkbox option, which allows us to mute any one or all of our splits. Below that we have the split mode option. Normal splits the audio path in parallel. Channel split allows us to split by channel and frequency split allows us to split by frequency. In normal mode, the signal is sent simultaneously to both the red light distortion and rotor in this example. Let's take a listen. If we want, say, the rotor to come after the distortion, we can drag it below to the vertical line. And conversely, we can have the rotor come first and the distortion after by placing the distortion below the rotor on the vertical line. Engaging channel split will apply the distortion to the left channel and the rotor to the right channel in this instance, so we can very quickly and easily affect the left and right sides of a signal differently. Frequency split allows us to send a more narrow frequency range to an effect. In this case, Raising the frequency split slider will add more frequencies to the distortion send. Let's take a listen. As you can imagine, this allows for very precise and extremely creative audio processing options, as there are almost limitless possibilities by using splits within splits. Next, let's take a look at multi-instruments in Studio One 3.0. Like effects chains, multi-instruments allow the user to combine multiple instruments as layers or splits on a single instrument track and record, edit, and play them like a single instrument. This opens a huge new range of possibilities for creative production and sound design. Adding a multi-instrument to a song starts with loading a new multi-instrument into a track. Let's take a look. I have an instance of presence here with an acoustic piano pulled up. Now let's drag an instance of Mai Tai into the same track. We now have the option to replace presence with Mai Tai or to combine them both. Let's click combine. Now we see the multi-instrument window which looks and works just like the one for effects chains. Multiple VST and AU instruments can be dragged into the routing window. We can simply play our keyboard now and we will hear both instruments. Clicking on either of these instruments gives us access to the respective instruments inspector in the left section of the window. We can change the patches here, transpose the instrument, and decide the playable range of the instrument in both the range window here 
and above the piano GUI by dragging the instrument's range slider horizontally above the keyboard. Each instrument is color-coded in several places for easy indication of what we are controlling. We can also pan each instrument directly from this window, which makes for some really interesting sonic possibilities. In this case, we can have the piano towards the left side of the stereo spectrum and Mai Tai towards the right. The fun starts when adding note effects, controlling individual instruments, or by adding splitters to control multiple instruments at the same time. To facilitate editing this complex sound, each multi-instrument has a macro panel with knobs and faders that can be assigned to any instrument parameter. Finally, everything is saved into a multi-instrument preset for instant recall at any time. And as a byproduct of multi-instruments, a single instrument can also be saved together with its note effects and audio effects into a single instrument preset. Instrument presets are shown in the browser under the multi-instruments folder at the top of the instruments browser here. And with a simple drag and drop, we can recall all of this. Studio One 3 includes an entire library of multi-instrument presets that are ready to play and easy to control from their macro page.